In this video, I'm gonna introduce you to this new project that I've picked up. So I've been um, looking around for a new project to do since I finished the uh, Morris Mini uh, a few years ago. And I've been looking like, constantly looking like what, what probably most of you do as well is when you're what, sitting on the um, sofa watching TV, go through the classifieds all the time, just looking up projects, um, seeing what's available, um, Facebook Marketplace and all of that. Um, I've looked at a, very, a few different projects. The, the one thing I was trying to find was a, um, a Morris Mini van, um, an early model with sliding windows. Um, it's, it's just difficult to find one um, in the right price range um, for a restoration project. Um, I've also looked at Mokes as well. Um, the thing with Mokes, um, the, obviously the more popular one, the 1275 California Mokes, um, the, the price is very high because they're in such high demand. So I managed to pick up this one, um, and this is a 998, has a 998 motor. All right, let's, I might just um, show you around, have a look at it, some of the, the things that need to be done on it, and try and work out where we're gonna start on this project. Probably the place to start on this would just be to have a look at the body first. Um, there, the original colour of this, it's a green colour. I believe it might be uh, jade green, but um, I still need to do a bit more research to work out the colours. And then obviously it's been painted yellow at some point. Um, whether or not that is the correct shade, um, I don't know whether it's daffodil yellow or um, yellow devil. So there's a few different colours that are in the range, or it may have just been any other shade. All right, so there are like a lot of um, surface rust on some parts. Um, it needs to be taken back down to bare metal and then primed. Um, there's a lot of um, places that just need a bit of panel beating um, repairs as well. Okay. Um, the, the rust in it, there's a fair bit of rust in the floor. Um, but if I go to the back, then you'll get a better view. So with the rust, the plan for here is, uh, it's easier just to replace the entire floor panel with one whole new section. Just on the rear as well, there's a few um, dents that need to be panel beaten, taken out. I mean, the, the actual um, body of this is just like working on a box trailer, you know, compared to the Morris Mini that was um, a lot more effort to get the, um, the, the actual body and surface right. Uh, because of the way that um, people modify and use mokes, there's like various holes in certain spots. So I need to work out whether those holes need to be filled, whether they are um, original. Um, like if you look in the actual back here, uh, you can sort of see holes like that one doesn't line up with there. So obviously maybe both of them were modified to have a seat put in the back or it could have had anything else. So I, I need to sort of do a bit of research and work out exactly which holes should be there and which ones need to be filled. All right, so inside here, um, the, the way the floor section works, you have the main floor section in the middle. Um, you can buy replacement panels if your centerpiece is um, still fine, but in this case here, it's better just to get the whole complete floor. Um, otherwise, if you're just getting the two separate floors for each side, uh, you still then need to weld sort of twice as much. Um, and then the way it works, this um, side of the moke, that floor panel is a separate piece to the main floor. So that you can purchase as a separate piece. Um, on the other side of the moke, um, where the fuel tank goes on, on the, um, that edge there, uh, it doesn't have a floor because the fuel tank has to obviously get in there. And then on the actual smaller section over that side, um, the floor seems to be okay. So I may only need to do minor re um, repairs on their panel repairs, uh, but that doesn't need to be replaced. Um, the other main part that needs to be replaced is also the bottom edge of this um, board right there. So. You, you can purchase um, that whole piece as a replacement. Um, it might be beneficial just to 
repair the bottom section, but I've just got to do a bit more research and work out what the best option is. I'll just give you a bit of a close up of that um, green section. Um, everyone's screen is going to be a little bit different, so uh, the shade of green on there. Uh, so that's all, like this is where the the cover piece goes on to hide the wiring that leads to the back. So there's like a metal panel on there. So when they repainted it yellow, um, that panel wasn't removed. Um, but that's good because then you can see what the actual um, original colour would have looked like. So I spent the afternoon sort of like sorting out uh, what parts. I've got um, boxes and boxes of um, parts. Um, there's the motor under there. Uh, the previous owner did a, a fair bit of work on the motor and gearbox and that's um, uh, at the stage where it needs to sort of start to get put together. Um, and then the rest of the stuff there, box loads of stuff. Um, probably the subs frames, that's sort of another starting point too. It's easy to get those um, sorted out um, and prepared. That way they're ready to go back in when needed. So my next plan then is to obviously um, just get all these boxes put away for now because I don't need all of this stuff in the garage taking up space just for now. I'll find somewhere to put them. Uh, that way I can sort of have the body of the car up at the back of the garage and then I can keep my daily driver in the garage too and then see how we go from there. Um, so once the floor is repaired in there, um, then we'll sort of work out what we're going to do next. Um, I'll probably spend time just repairing, um, doing, starting on the panel beating work. I mean, a lot of it is, um, is in pretty good condition under there. So the, the floor is the main issue, apart from a few minor um, bits that need to be fixed up here and there. But um, that'll be the first thing to try and get sorted out. It'll be interesting to see how this um, project actually comes along. Um, it, it sort of seems like it won't take as long as the Morris Mini because you're not dealing with um, interiors and the, the size, or not so much the size of the Morris Mini, this is exactly the same length, but there's more, um, more pieces, especially like the interior pieces that need to be done on the Morris Mini compared to um, a, a Moak. But, um, I, I say that, but then we'll, we'll wait and see. It probably will take a lot more time than just a sedan or the saloon mini. Okay, so, well, thanks for watching this introduction. Um, I, I've actually noticed there's not, there's, there's a lot of Moak videos on the internet, on YouTube, but there's, um, they're mostly like little short ones, people showing their project very quickly. So there's not one or many videos at all that show a detailed restoration um, of all the different steps and then putting everything back together. So um, this might be useful, this series might be useful for anyone that wants to tackle a, um, a rest, restoring a moak. Um, hopefully my knowledge of um, spending time um, restoring my Morris Mini, um, that should come in handy because the way a moak works, it's the same sort of running gear, like apart from the engine sides. Is difference. There's going to be differences throughout it, but it's the same sort of running gear, suspension, um, subframes as a classic Mini. So um, hopefully that the knowledge and skills I've picked up from the previous project will help me on this one, but we'll have to wait and see. All right, so the next step is to sort of just work out a bit of a plan of attack and work out uh, what I need to do first. Uh, so I'll leave it there, and thanks for watching my videos.